Hi, I'm going to take you through some quick examples of the basic laws of the indices. So starting with the top one over here, we've got 5 squared times 5 to the power of 4. So in order to work this out, I need to think about how many 5s are multiplying together. 5 squared is going to be 5 times 5. And then we've got this 5 to the power of 4, which is going to be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, so all together we are multiplying these two fives and these four fives together. So all together that makes six fives that are multiplying together. So that tells me that five squared times five to the power of four is going to be equal to five to the power of six. Now a quick way of getting there is that we can add this power and this power together to give us this power here. Okay, the second one, this time we've got five to the power of four divided by 5 cubed. So um, what I want to do is I want to think about this as um, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 divided by 5 cubed, which is 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, and um, if we have a look at this, I've got four fives here multiplying together and three fives here multiplying together. And um, what I want to do is I want to cancel some of these out. So this 5 and this 5 will cancel out. This 5 and this 5 will cancel out. This 5 and this 5 will cancel out. So I'm only left with this 5 here. And because it's on the numerator, um, I can say that this is going to be equal to 5 to the power of 1, um, which is just basically 5. And if you notice, one of the ways that I can get here is if I've got four fives multiplying together, um, and I divide that by these three fives multiplying together, um, I can do four, take away three, which gives me this one here. Okay, finally, the last one, I've got five squared to the power of four. So this means five squared times five squared times five squared times five squared. Okay, so um, we did this 5 squared to the power of 4, so this means that we've got these 4 5 squareds multiplying together. So using this law here, I can do 2, add 2, add 2, add 2, um, and that's going to give me 5 to the power of 8. Okay, now one of the ways that I can get here quickly is that um, I've got this 2 multiplied by this 4 to give me this 8. Okay, hopefully you can see how all of this works. Um, watch this video again if you're still unsure.